Hey, so they say that the pen is mightier than the sword, which is a bit like saying that the keyboard is mightier than the AK-47. But if you've ever seen an AK-47 go against a keyboard, you know that's not really true. Because we can't carry AK-47s around in the office as much as we possibly like to, uh, we have to resort to other means of crowd control. Uh, whenever you start a new job, uh, you, you're going to have like contracts to sign, they remind you, this is a, you know, you know, don't talk about our confidential information, don't do this, don't do that, and you know, it's, it's quite laborious. The problem with this is that really, not many people pay much attention to it, you, you become desensitised to it, you see the same thing time and time again, and you just like, yes, tick, 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 I agree, I agree, what have you. For the large part, people really aren't that bothered, until and unless you get on the wrong side of your boss. I uh, noticed you didn't lock your machine when you walked away from it. I only went to get, I only went to get the print out. Do you ever read the security policy? Blessed is he who in the name of security locks his machine, for he is truly his employee. When I lay disciplinary processes down on thee. So, what do you think? Are security policies there for, you know, really the good of it? Do, do they make any difference to how, uh, how you or anyone else behaves in the workplace? Or is it just a legal tool to uh, batter you over the head with? Um, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to give the old thumbs up if you like this video. Stay secure, my friends.